Hey guys, in here with Trend Lake Fight, and this week we're actually doing a backpack review over the Eberly Stock Switchblade. Uh, now, before we actually get into the, the review of the backpack itself, uh, I want to give you guys a little backstory about how I got to this point to actually purchasing the Switchblade pack. So, uh, I've been on the hunt for a new backpack for, I'd say, about a year or so. Uh, my old backpack was this Condor Outdoor Small Salt Pack, which a great, was a great little pack. It was about 1,300 cubic inches, maybe 500 denier nylon and uh, it really it, it served its purpose but uh, it's finally started breaking down on me and I need a new backpack and so I've been on the hunt for a new backpack I looked at 511 packs I looked at Kafaru packs I looked at mystery ranch packs all good backpacks they just all didn't quite suit my my needs my lifestyle because I live a pretty busy lifestyle uh, I used to be a track and cross country coach I was in school uh, now I'm active duty in the military. I need a backpack that I can hit the range with, a backpack I can use as a carry-on, and a backpack that I can use uh, for like day hikes or even maybe weekend trips. So I, I did a lot of searching around. It was really hard to find something that really kind of met all those needs, uh, but I think I finally found it. So the Everly Stock Switchblade is a pretty cool pack. So uh, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to start, we're going to take a seat and we're going to start breaking down this pack. Okay guys, so we got the Everly Stock Switchblade here. So it's actually a, a pretty medium sized pack. It's not gigantic, but it's definitely not small. Like I said, my old pack was, I think it was about 1300 cubic inches and the Everly Stock Switchblade is sitting at just over 1700 cubic inches. So it's a little bit, little bit larger than my old pack, but kind of the beauty of this pack is it's more one large open compartment. Although there are plenty of other additional storage compartments, which I do like about this pack. Uh, so to start with, let's uh, just talk about the outside of the pack. I believe it's made of like a 500D uh, nylon. It's, it seems pretty tough. It's made of a ripstop material. I got mine in the military green, but they also make it in all your other camos and uh, solid patterns too. So uh, up front here, we got your Everly Stock logo, your Velcro patch. Uh, then we also have three rows, uh, what I'm calling kind of like minimalist molly. It's, it's like a very thin version of uh, your railer like molly webbing. I think they call it like 25 millimeter molly webbing. So only three rows of it, which I actually like. I don't, I'm not a big fan of backpacks that are just covered in molly webbing. So that's one reason I really gravitated towards this pack is it doesn't really scream military when you look at it. It's pretty minimalist for the most part. And when I look at this pack, I think more like outdoorsy, like hiking and military guys will kind of know what I'm talking about. You don't always want to scream military like everywhere you go or advertise that you're in the military so uh, up top here we have two more rows of that minimalist molly uh, and like I said we'll get into the inside of this pack in just a minute I want to cover the outside of the pack first um, and then moving around to our side here we have a water bottle pouch on this side it's a pretty tight fit for just like a small 16 ounce bottle of water I don't own any Nalgene bottles but I think it would be a pretty tight fit if you have this this pack fully loaded down like I've got it. Uh, three more rows of this molly webbing on the side here and uh, actually we'll get into this in a minute but there is a concealed carry pouch on the side too. The other side we're looking at same thing uh, water bottle pouch three three uh, rows of this minimalist molly although these rows I would say are a little more spaced out on the sides here it looks like it's more built for like a um, using with uh, your old old style Alice clips. So uh, if you have like a, a knife or something that you want to attach this side here, this would probably be the ideal spot to put it. Um, that's about it for the outside of the, pa the pack material wise. Now let's talk about the harness and the suspension system. It is pretty elaborate, the, the suspension system for such a small pack, uh, a lot of it went into this. So. Uh, we have the Everly Stock Ladder System. If you haven't seen this before, it's pretty cool. It, it's pretty simple uh, design, but it really works well. So all you got to do to adjust your, your height of the harness is undo this Velcro here, and then you pull out on the, the, uh, the, the actual harness, the yoke, and you can then move, like weave it in, very similar to molly webbing and move this up and down on the ladder system here. So uh, I kind of like where it sits right now. I might play around with it in the future, but where it comes from the factory is pretty, pretty good. Um, the harness itself, I really like the, the shape of the yoke and everything. It really stays on your shoulders really well. I'm a pretty thin frame guy, and I didn't notice that it was like slipping off my shoulders or anything like that. And uh, it's just 
it, it rides very comfortably. The, the straps are really wide. And if you know anything about backpack straps, uh, comfortable backpack straps aren't always like huge, thick backpack straps. If any of you guys have very car ever carried an army rucksack, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like bigger and heavier duty, like thicker straps don't always equate to being more comfortable. So Everly Stock does a really good job in just the, the shape and the contour of their straps uh, distribute weight really well and make this pack very comfortable to carry around. You do have some small load lifters here. Um, again, it's kind of surprising to see load lifters on such a small pack, but I'm really not complaining about it. If you're not going to use the load lifters, like I'm not really, I don't have a ton of weight in here. You just cinch them down as tight as they can go and they're, they'll be out of sight, out of mind. You do have a carry handle right here. Uh, it's got that foam on the inside of it. I've never been a big fan of that, the foam on the inside of these things because they tend to break down over time, but we'll see. Um, the whole thing is lined with this nice mesh material so it breathes real well. And then the, uh, the back here, you have these, these long ridges. This is actually not like an internal frame. There is no, like I, would, I wouldn't call this like an internal frame on the inside of this thing. There's a, like a sheet of plastic on the inside of it that keeps it somewhat rigid, but there's no aluminum stays or anything like that. Again, this is a small pack, so there's really no need to have large aluminum stays or anything that's meant for serious load bearing with such a small pack. Uh, down here towards the bottom, you actually have like a compartment or like a, a sleeve here that you can actually put a full size waist belt in from Everly Stock if you want to do that. Again, I'm not really going to be using this for backpacking purposes or any serious backpacking, so I'm not interested in that, but you do have that option if you, uh, if you want to use this as a, as a serious backpacking backpack. Um, and that about sums it up. You do have these small attachment points uh, on the sides here, and some of those are on the front. You have four of those on the front here, and I would think these are probably for like attaching carabiners or something like that. Uh, I don't have any carabiners on hand to show you guys that, but that's probably what I would use it for. Maybe you could weave some shock cord through there if you want to be able to like strap things to the outside of this. So you have a lot of options with this pack. Now let's start getting into the actual inside of the pack, all the, the pouches and stuff. Uh, we do have a concealed carry pocket right here. And so you can see that it does have a, a magnetic closure to it. It, it's very tight. It's very hard for me to get my hand into it right now because I do have this thing just filled to the brim with as much stuff as I can get into it. But I mean, it will fit a handgun. Um, I mean, I got my my FNS 9C inside there. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, this thing is very spacious. It actually spans the entire backside of the 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 backpack, so you could fit something like a 500 Smith and Wesson in the in this thing if you really wanted to. Uh, it does have a, a nice like felt liner inside of it, so you can uh, put a, a Velcro holster in there if you want to do something like that. Uh, I'm not really big into putting like conceal like conceal and carrying my handgun inside of a backpack just because you you lack access to it. It's not nearly as fast as having it on your person, but you do have that option if maybe you are wearing more fitted clothing and you can't really uh, can effectively conceal that handgun in there. It does have magnetic closure, so the thing will snap shut on its own. Um, and that's about it for that pouch there. Moving on to the front side of the pouch, we do have these two uh, fairly long uh, pockets right here. You can fit, uh, what I got in here is a rain jacket on this side. So like I said, it's real tall, uh, real tall and narrow. You can't put, any, put a ton of weight in there, but you do, um, you do have plenty of space for rain jackets, stuff like that. I got rain pants in there. As a coach, I was always keeping that stuff on me because uh, it was always inevitably going to rain out of meat. And then you have one larger pouch right up here that spans kind of like from this row of molly down. And inside here, I just got like a cell phone holder and I believe that's all I put inside there. Yeah. Uh, so not a ton of space. When you got this thing fully like loaded down with a bunch of stuff in the main compartment. You really can't put a ton of stuff in this front compartment because it, it does get real tight. But this would be a great spot for maybe like a small medical kit, throw a tourniquet in there if you're hitting the range. You know, it's always kind of a good practice to carry some basic medical supplies with you when you're hitting the range. And that's about it for the, the external pouches on here. Or Well, actually we do have one more. Uh, we have this very large top pouch right here. And this thing, you can really put a lot of stuff in here. So I got a headlamp, I got some, some shades in there. 
this thing will fit two magazines inside of it. Uh, these pockets are pretty much purpose built for magazines. So you can, like I said, fit a couple 30 rounders in there if you want to do that. Uh, then you have three pen pouches right here on the top. So I got some, some map markers right there. That's uh, what that's pretty good for. I got a compass in here because you do have two. Uh, let me flip this around so you can maybe see it a little better. We do have two medium sized pouches right here beneath those magazine pouches. And then beneath that you have one larger one that's pretty good for storing maybe like your protractors, maps, anything like that. Uh, pretty good general use pocket. I like to always have like a small admin pocket and, and backpacks like this uh, just to kind of organize some of your smaller stuff so it's not all jumbled up inside the main pocket. Now let's get into the main pocket itself. There's a lot that this thing can hold but it's pretty simple on the inside of this guy. And so I have a lot of just uh, stuff I just threw in here. There's no real uh, rhyme or reason to it. I was just trying to fill the thing up. I got a uh, stuff sack there. We got a hammock. We got a, a hygiene kit. We got a bedroll. Uh, we got, or that's my mosquito net, my Hennessy rain tarp. We got the snug pack, special forces pack in there, straps, uh, pillow. And that's it. So, I mean, like I said, we got a pretty spacious main compartment here. And then the thing folds all the way open if you really want it, if you want to do that. The whole inside of it is lined with this, uh, this, met, or this, this nice felt material. So this would be a great medical bag if you are, say, a medic in the service. Uh, you can definitely stick, like, all your pouches and stuff, and, like, you Velcro them down to here if you want to do that. So really uh, a lot of options with the inside of this one. You got three rows of molly webbing there, and you got three rows of that minimalist molly on the, uh, the front side of the flap here. So you can fold this thing down all the way if you want to do that. I usually don't fold it down all the way because it kind of spills everything out if you do that. But you have, a, like I said, a lot of options with the, the inside of this, this pouch. You have almost like, it's kind of like a binder. You have these two fairly large pockets right here. And these guys, the main one here it's kind of meant for a camelback but if you're one of those guys that like to store an armor plate in your pack you could probably do that uh, you do have a camelback retention strap here so your camelback doesn't just drop down inside your pack and then you do have your camelback loop right here on the side so you can run your uh, straw through that maybe if you got some headphones or your phone in here you could also use that as a as a uh, a port for your your headphones you, can, you also have another nice compartment right here. I like to put magazines in this personally. This spot, like, it's just a great way. Like, whenever I hit the range, I'm usually carrying like two or three different types of mags, and I want to keep them separate from all my other gear. I can just throw them all right in there. Uh, this thing also fits my CZ Scorpion really well. I, so I can hit the range with just my backpack instead of having to carry uh, a case and all, all the other stuff they usually carry to the range. Uh, we do have a fairly large side pocket right here that spans the whole height of your pack. I got some tent stakes in there to stake down my rain tarp. And then on this side here, we have a couple more pouches. So we have these three small pouches right here. I got a just a pocket knife in there. I got a flashlight here, and then I got a few chem lights sitting in here. So that's probably how I would typically use that in the military. Good way to organize a few smaller items like that. And then you have one medium sized pocket right down here which I uh, really don't know what you would want to use that for. It's about, you probably fit like something like the size of a softball in there. So it's got a lot of space to it. But that's about it for the inside of the pack, guys. Uh, this thing really does kind of suit my needs personally. Like I said, I've got, I do a lot of things uh, in, inside and outside of the military and just in life in general. So this pack really is kind of here to stay. Um, I think it, it's just a really, really well built. I like Everly Stock's products. They're maybe not as great as Kafaru or Mystery Ranch, but those products are pretty expensive. You, you pay for what you get. Uh, so I think this pack is going to be here for many years to stay, but if anything ever goes wrong with it, I'll be sure to uh, make another video on that and, and tell you guys about it. But for now, guys, that's it. This is going to be the pack you're probably going to see me carrying around all the time in all my videos. Uh, so that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and remember to train like you fight.